Well, thanks very much. Well, have you ever been searching for a name and it just pops into your brain hours later? Well, that is your subconscious helping you out. Our next guest here is psychotherapist and author Mike Dow, and he's going he's here to tell us how your subconscious can do much more and help change your life. It really can. And that's, uh, this is your new book? That's it is. Right. Your subconscious brain can change your life, and it really can. You know, what I've seen in my practice, since I started using clinical hypnosis, people are really changing their lives. It's, it's great for psychological conditions like phobias or anxiety, mm -hmm. but it's also great for physical ones, more effective than medication for IBS, fibromyalgia, migraines. So it really is truly life-changing for some people. And these are studies that are showing that. This isn't Absolutely. just you pulling numbers out Published of the Published medical journals, reputable ones in the United States, Canada, Europe, so it's really fascinating and it's a new time. Hypnosis is back. You know, it was big in the 60s and now these new studies are showing, wow, the brain scans in my book. It's like, that's doing something really powerful. Oh, well, I think we all remember back to high school days when we had like a hypnotist come in uh -huh. and made our friends bark like a dog or, you know, it's the whatever. It's question I get. You're not going to make me bark like a dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. I but, but how is this different than that? It's very different. I mean, those shows tell you that hypnosis is truly powerful. It can do some great, funny things, but imagine if you could take that power and what you're doing in terms of lighting up different brain structures and changing the way the brain is uh, wired and, and wired together. Imagine if you could take that and you want to lose weight, quit smoking, exercise more, get rid of your migraines, uh, combat digestive issues. So you're actually using it to rewire the brain and also the body. Now is this tapping into the, the sub, what is the subconscious? What are you tapping into or, or trying to change there? Yeah, so you're actually slowing down your brain waves. You're somewhere in between being asleep and being awake. Uh, the prefrontal cortex, the most advanced part of the brain lights up as you'll see in my, my own brain scan. Uh, also the basal ganglia, which is where a lot of that feel good dopamine is pumped out in the brain. So you're actually changing the brain here all those really cool uh -huh. brain scans I mean this is my brain uh, just doing nothing and here's my brain on hypnosis you can see the changes in my brain okay so how is this I know a lot of friends who practice meditation and and mindfulness yes or is this in that right that same kind of camp it is so mindfulness is wonderful uh, on an EEG mindfulness will take you down into a slow alpha brain wave on an EEG mm -hmm. uh, but that's a conscious brain wave so you're relaxed but you're conscious Hypnosis, on the other hand, takes you down into theta, which is the same brainwave we would see when you're in REM sleep. Uh, when you can do that, theta is incredible because you can start to, if you have PTSD, you can start to erase memories. If you have uh, a phobia, you can use the uh, VR, the virtual reality of the mind's eye, to imagine that you're already in that plane and you're feeling calm and safe and then you're actually tricking the brain. In hypnosis, you actually light up the occipital lobe. So you're tricking the brain into thinking that you're already experiencing something. And if that's true, then you can get on that plane, no problem. Okay. All right, and you're going to try and do some hypnosis on yes. us right now. Yeah, I'm going to, I need to get to the gym more. Okay, that's a great goal. So, yeah, Okay. for many, many reasons. So just allow yourself to become calm and relaxed and just notice well, how the body... You know I'm body... a television person, <laughs> so hard. This can be great for you. <laughs> and then just look at my finger, and you can almost pretend like you're looking through my finger. And isn't it so wonderful, and isn't it so nice to know that you have the ability to relax? And then here on this next inhale, you're going to follow my finger. Now hold the breath, hold, 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 and now allow the eyelids to close. That's right. And now you're walking down an elevator going down and it's floating down and the eyelids fluttering is an indication that you're already in a light trance 12 11 10 deeply deeply relaxed 9 8 7 deeply deeply calm 6 5 4 almost there now you're doing so wonderfully already and you've only just begun the eyelids fluttering a bit more now an indication that that trance is deeper 3 2 1 and you can see yourself stepping out into a place, into a memory where you are as relaxed and calm and happy and healthy as you've ever been. Using your imagination and the paintbrush of your mind's eye, who are you with? What do you hear? Isn't that so nice to know? And now you can imagine that your hands are becoming lighter and lighter. And once you identify which hand feels a bit lighter, you can flip that hand over that's right, and allow the other hand to float. And now you can imagine with your mind's eye that the motivation to go to the gym, your health, your happiness, whatever motivates you is like a balloon that's being tied to this wrist. That's right. And you can also imagine that that 
balloon can take that hand and change the sensation, and perhaps it's getting just a little bit lighter. And then here, in the palm of your hand, you can imagine that you're holding that health and that happiness. And whenever you need a little bit of that, you can just squeeze that. And now, since you're in that state of trance, I'm going to give you some suggestions, because we know that when you're in this subconsciously activated state, the brain is very suggestible. Exercise comes to me, and it feels easy and effortless. Exercise is easy for me, and it feels easy and effortless. Exercise is easy for me, and it feels easy and effortless. And now in your mind's eye, you're going to see yourself exercising the future. And you can also see how good it feels. And you can experience that, turning that feel-good sensation, that health, that abundance, whatever that is for you, like a dial. Can you turn that dial up as far as it can go? And you can come down here whenever you'd like, as much as you'd like, and these, this hypnosis will become more effective. And now coming back up, that elevator, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, more awake and alert, eyes open, 1. What was that like? Great. <laughs> <laughs> you went right into trance. Those eyelids were fluttering, which is an indication that you're in that light trance. So you're very hypnotizable. Oh, Imagine if we did that for 40 many minutes. Many people would say that for a lot of different reasons. <laughs> All right, reasons. we got to get going, doctors. Thank you very much My for pleasure. joining Thanks us today. For having we appreciate me. it. I'm going to the gym. You're going to hit it. Yeah, that's right. Now you are. More on PT after the break. <laughs> Thank